ride. Happy cow. Hi, I'm Leilani Munter, and you're watching Eco Rossi. Aren't you a famous race car driver, Leilani Munter? How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just hanging out at my first Genesis Awards. I've Fantastic. never been here before. I've never been here either. Oh, great. So, so we're doing these interviews tonight for Happy Cow. Oh, great. And I for Eco Rossi. Oh, excellent. Yes. I love Happy Cow. So here we are. Hi. And uh, so what brings you out here tonight? How did you get invited to this? So I, I actually did a little bit of an event with the uh, Humane Society. I've been in contact with them for years. Okay. And we've just started working together a little bit more. And, you know, I just wanted to come out here and show my support for the animals. Very cool. um, it's important. You know, they don't have a voice and we have to be the voice for them. And I know there's lots of actors and actresses and, you know, race car drivers have, yeah. uh, have a voice too. So here I am. And how long have you been vegan now? So vegan, I'd say about a year and a half now. And there's actually, I'm not the only vegan driver. There's actually two other vegan drivers now. So there's three of us total. Did I have any inspiration on you? Remember, I was the long-term vegan. I've been vegan 21 years now. Oh. And I remember we talked about that whole yeah. thing, and you were quite vegan then. Yeah, I was vegetarian. Yes. So I went vegetarian when I was a kid. And, yeah, you know, just the more that I learned, the more that I watched. I watched Earthlings, and, you know, I started watching Forks Over Knives. And there was just the more information that I got, the more that I realized I have to cut dairy out. So I finally cut dairy out. And, uh, and we're actually, later this year, we're going to run a Veg Nation race yeah. car. So I'm going to use my race car to promote plant-based diet to 75 million race fans. We're not just going to have just a race car. We're also going to have a big tent serving vegan food nice. with a vegan chef, giving away food to the fans so they can actually try vegan food and see how great it is. That is amazing. So as far as um, your feeling after you became vegan, did your feeling physiologically change? Do you feel different now that you're a vegan? Yeah, I feel, I definitely feel better. I definitely felt a change. I felt more energy. Um, you know, I, I wasn't cutting out that much because I wasn't eating meat. It wasn't like I was going from meat eater yes. to vegan. It was really just cheese that I cut out. Yes. I have always eaten, you know, drank almond milk or yeah. soy milk or coconut milk. So I was never consuming dairy milk. It was just the cheese that I was cutting out. And I was actually really surprised at how many great vegan cheeses there are actually out there. There's some really good so, ones. Get this. I was at Natural Products Expo two weeks ago, and there was a woman by the name of Miyoko Shinner who has a new PBS show um, called Vegan Mashup. Okay. She made the most amazing vegan cheeses you have ever had aged for months. I mean, these were the most amazing vegan cheeses you've ever had. And she has a book called Artisan Vegan Cheese. And I interviewed her actually uh, about two months ago. She, amazing. I just hope she gets them out there to the public because they're so good. Yeah. So that's a little plug for you, Miyoko. I would love to try that. You know, I was just at, last night I was at Crossroads, which yeah. is Tal Ronan's place. I went there place. two night, three nights ago. Okay, yeah, we yes. were there last yes. night. And, um, and I heard that there's like a back room where they're going to start serving. It's going to be like a cheese room and it's yeah. all vegan cheese. And oh, awesome. one of my friends has t she said they have brie and all kinds of amazing cheeses, everything vegan. They said they were just blown away. So yeah, yeah. I'm getting really excited. I mean, yeah. it's, it just goes to show you're not really giving anything up. You're, yes. you're being healthy and you can yes. still have all the flavor that you had before. So there's no excuse not to do it. Yeah. The vegan crab cakes at Crossroads are absolutely amazing. I have to go back and try those. Oh, they were so good. I missed those last yeah. night. So I'll, I'm going to be in LA for a few days. So yeah. I'm going to go back. And what are some of your favorite vegan restaurants around the world? So there's actually three vegan restaurants now in Charlotte, North Carolina. You would never believe it. Um, when I moved there 10 years ago, there were no vegan restaurants. And now there's three. So I think that's just a testament to the fact that we're everywhere now. Like, we're even at the NASCAR yes. races. Yes, yes. Um, I even had a vegan chef at Daytona last year when I was running the Cove car cook all vegan food. And we were serving it to some of the race teams that ate meat, and they didn't even realize that they were eating vegan yes. until later when we told them. So, Very cool. Yeah, I mean, there's great vegan places popping up all over the place. Thanks again. See you later, little Ronnie. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Good Keep up the great work. Bye-bye. Happy cow.